Hey guys, it's JP from Foxhall Woodworks. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Today we're going to build a shop back cart with a dust separator on top. These plans were originally done by April Wilkerson at Wilker Deuce. Check this cart out right here. It'll take you right to the video. It's pretty cool. Anyway, let's get started. Has some extra scrap maple plywood, so I'm going to use that to rip down the uh, sides and the shelves on the table saw. Next, we're going to cut down all the sides and shelves to length using the crosscut sled. This crosscut sled was designed by Nick Ferry. Click the card, go check out his build video. It's pretty sweet. Next, we're going to break out the pocket hole jig. Everybody loves the pocket hole jig. We're going to drill pocket holes down the sides of the back so we can attach them to the sides. We're also going to drill pocket holes around the perimeter of the middle shelf and the bottom shelf. Here's a pro tip, even though I'm not a pro. Use a parallel clamp to hold the sides together while you do the pocket holes. And this way it won't slip on you. Next up, we are going to put the bottom shelf in. This is a bit of a tricky part. You've got to get the bottom flush with the sides and the back. So I like to use a parallel clamp because parallel clamps are awesome. So uh, once you get the clamp in and get them tight and flush, screw all the pocket holes in and secure it. All right, now it's time to put the middle shelf in. Instead of measuring, because I don't do math, um, I like to cut spacers to um, the exact length that I need and then uh, put them under there and put the shelf on top and fasten it. Now we're putting all the uh, equipment in there with a little dry fit. Now I'm gluing and tacking in a couple of spacer blocks for our casters. This makes sure that your screws doesn't go all the way through the bottom into the uh, cavity of the cart. I spent many restless nights trying to figure out what screws to use with uh, casters. I'm using GRK cabinet screws here and they are awesome. Now we're going to attach the top piece. Uh, this is going to hold the dust separator and keep it from sliding off the top. Just uh, flush it up and fasten it with some pocket screws. So I forgot to do this step when I had the cart disassembled. So I rounded off the both corners of the top of the cart. In April's original video, she built racks to hold her sanders and accessories. I already have a dedicated space in my miter saw station for those things, but I'm going to build a cord hose reel in the front. I drilled some recesses with a one inch portioner bit into the front of the cart and into the end piece that I built off camera. Then I cut two dowels long enough to hold the power cord and a vacuum hose with a bandsaw. I pre-drill holes into the recesses and attach the dowels with pocket hole screws. So we're gonna go ahead and take the shop vac cart and do a little bit of adulting. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my mess. I hardly ever do that, just ask my wife, but I am trying and I am putting forth the effort. If you like what you see here, go ahead and subscribe, like, and share. We also have a new website up and running at foxhallww.com. Uh, we got a merch store up and running as well, so go ahead and check that out. Links will be in the description. Anything you buy will help us support our channel. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.